Civil War. Get ready, football fans. This is one of the most bitter rivalries in all of college football. And now it's time for the coin talk. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. goes at the 21 and the defense just swarmed over him on that one yeah they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance from their own 21 yard line it's second down the counter brought down at the 21 yard line to his receiver no good excellent series by this defense forcing them to go three and out and the offense really struggled on this drive they're gonna have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys Pittman is back to receive <laughs> heading for the corner tackle made at the 43 So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Pitch out, got the corner. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. Now he took the pitch there and was able to get the first down. It's a nice option play. From the 43-yard line, first down. He makes it to the 42-yard line. Nine. Gains about a yard on the play. That makes it second and eight. Two times, two times. They'll work the right side, and there's nothing going there. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. And they'll lose a yard there. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Try to change the field position with this kick. The Ducks really took care of business on defense that first time out, Perfect. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. He's taken down around the 16-yard line. It's second and 10. Ball on the 16. After a decent pickup. That makes it third and three. Right, 
Look at his scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there. He doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Across the middle, tight end's got it. And they make the stop right around the 38-yard line. Well, the defensive backs completely jumped the run. Only the run was never there. It was just that misstep that allowed the completion. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. And he's tackled at the 29. Scrambles. Dives for extra yardage. One thing about this quarterback is when the play breaks down, he has a way of improvising and getting positive yards. From the 23-yard line, first down. Nice run there. Dive. Picks up about seven yards on the run. That makes it second and two. bring him down at the 13. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. From the 13-yard line, it's first down. He's got an opening. Runs outside for a nice game. Brown. Gets six yards after taking it himself on the option. Makes the PAT. A seven play, 55 yard drive, and a touchdown's a result. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lines. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Oregon's looking awfully impressive right now in defense, but we are in the first quarter. Yeah, this is about a dominant first quarter that we have seen in a long time. But let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ball game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Wide receiver screen play. Out of bounds at about the 31. That's a game of six so it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They'll give it off here. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. Makes the grab past the marker. Tackle around the 38-yard line. 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Nice run up the middle. That brings him second and five. Gets to about the 44-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Let's it fly. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. He's a solid blocker, but as he showed right there on third down, he also has soft hands for a big guy. From the 35-yard line, first down. Big opening. Up the middle for a nice game. That's a game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. This is the eighth play of this drive. Inside the 10, and he's finally taken down at the three-yard line. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the two, and they can smell the end zone. play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. The extra point to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine play, 76 yard drive, and they put up seven points. We're even at seven in this one. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. They'll work the left side, and he's taken down right around the 28-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 28-yard line, second down. Tackle made at the 28. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Tailback picked up seven on the draw. That makes it fourth and inches. Bradford is back awaiting the punt. Bradford takes it to 25. He's taken down at the 30. For the last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. From their own 33-yard line. Second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Go, 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 go. 
Zips it to the tailback, incomplete. Pittman will be the return man. He gets hit out of bounds at the 44. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Makes it to the 44. So at the end of one, we get a tie game at 7-7. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Three down, three down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Down. Hut. Oklahoma. Hut. Oklahoma. Hut. Here he goes. That makes it second and six. From the 40-yard line, it's second down. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. That's a three-yard pickup on the option. And they get nice yardage on that run. First and 10, ball on the 31. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's knocked out of bounds around the two yard line. goal from the two. Let's see if they just don't try to power their way into the end zone here. Just throws this one away. Finds a man. Touchdown. Guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 27-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Brought down at the 33-yard line. Quick pass. That brings him second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on their own 33. Ready. And down he goes at the 33.
Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Pittman is back to receive. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Pittman fields it at the 22. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Oregon is up by a touchdown. He's under pressure. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 40. From their own 40-yard line. It's second down. Pitches in, and he's got a lane. And he's shoved out of bounds right around the 48-yard line. He's taken down at the 48. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. Second and 14. Ball on their own 48. Key 26, key 26. Hey. He's on the run, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. Third and long now after the sack. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Check 13. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. That makes it fourth and long. Bradford is the deep man awaiting the return. He takes it in at the 14. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. That one's going to put him way back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. From their own 11-yard line, first down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it second and six. He fights forward to about the 16. It's third and five. Ball on the 16 yard line. He's tackled at the 27. That's a game of 11 on the play. First down. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 24. And a quick throw. He's brought down in the open field. Yeah. 
Fires out to his wideout. They'll bring him down at the 29. Pittman back deep to return. And he's tackled at the 34. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Oregon up seven points. Tackled after a decent pickup. They're about four yards away here on second down. Here's the halfback. And they push him out at the 47. Runs it left for a decent game. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's going to try and scramble. And they make the stop at the 38-yard line. He's out of bounds at the 36-yard line. Well, the idea here was obviously not to try anything tricky or force the ball down the field. A simple throw, and they got the first down that they needed. From the 36-yard line, it's first down. He fights forward to about the 33. Gets out to about the 31. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Watch 36, 36, Oregon is up a score. Complete. He's got room. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Throws in a hurry. This one is incomplete. From the 24-yard line. Second down. Almost intercepted there. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. It's the 11th play of the drive. Stepping up. Tackle right around the 22-yard line. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Oregon is hoping to make this a two-score game. The kick is up, and he's got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They're ready to begin another drive. He 
gets out to about the 28 yard line. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on their own 28. It's been a well fought game as we head to the half. The Ducks with a 10 point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both of these defenses are opportunistic. They're very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset they haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to create not to give away any turnovers. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. He's got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Nice gain as he works the right side. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. made around the 32 yard line that makes it third and three. up the middle for a nice game their own 39 yard line first down nice run there die gains about five yards on the run He's at the 40, and he's taken down right around the 32-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 32. He's at the 20. He's pushed out of bounds at the 17-yard line. From the 17-yard line, first down. Here they go on the draw, and they'll lose yards. And this play is number eight on the drive. They bring him down in the backfield. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That brings up third and 14. 
So we're looking at another third down here. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. Fourth down. It's up, and it is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Oregon's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. They're about four yards away here on second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Call it a gain of five yards. First down. Five wide. Brought down around the 46 yard line. That makes it first and ten. From their own 46 yard line. It's first down. Zips it to the back. And down he goes at the 40. Number five brings him down to the 40-yard line. First down. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 36. He makes it out to maybe the 36 yard line. Complete. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. So it's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he nails the long field goal. State is lining up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Oh, what a hit. Oregon's offense has just been dominant here in the third quarter, and it's got to be pretty demoralizing for the defense. Yeah, the defense, I mean, they just have to get some kind of stop here to be able to get some confidence and be able to get their own offense into the position of being able to put some points up. But right now, they just cannot stop this high-powered attack. Got a receiver, and he dropped it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 26. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. Lost a two yards on the play. That brings up third and 12. Mike 34, Mike 34, scoop, scoop, scoop. 
Fires it out. He's taken down at the 39. From their own 39-yard line. First down. And he's stopped behind the line. play and he'll lose yards. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Slings it. He gets hit out of bounds right around the 42 yard line. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He's got the corner. He takes it in at the 14, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 22. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own 24. Nice run to the outside. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and two. He's knocked out of bounds at the 33-yard line. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on their own 33. And he's tackled at the 33. Right, and he can't get back to the line. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. So that'll make it fourth down. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Pittman will be the return man. Booming kick. He's taken down at the 34. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. They'll bring him down at the 36. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight. Ball on their own 36. run and he's brought down and that will make it fourth down on third down the defense was expecting the pass and they defended the play very well in the secondary 
Bradford, the return man. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Gain of six six yards. Yards. That'll, That'll make, make it second, second and four. four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. That's the end of three quarters of play, and this one's a little tighter than the experts thought. 2010 Ducks. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Tries to set up a screen for the wide receiver. And they make the stop at about the 49. First down. From their own 49-yard line. First down. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle around the 45-yard line. And it's almost picked off. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Makes it out to about the 36. That makes it first and 10. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Here's a running play. He makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line. From the 33 yard line, second down. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The thing about the option is you're gonna have some negative plays, but if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. It's the 11th play of the drive. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Throws it in a hurry. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the four, looking for Pater. They come out in a five-wide set. Tackle made at the three-yard line. This is the 13th play of this drive. He's 
taken down at the one yard line. From the one yard line, third down. He's scrambling, decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. The draw within a field goal. And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Oregon is up by three. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Makes it second and eight. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 27 yard line. They give to the tailback. Tackled after a decent pickup. left and can't get back to the line of scrimmage. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stops before he even gets going. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. The Ducks kept climbing and scratching their way back in this football game. You can never count anybody out, I guess. Isn't it amazing to see what momentum can do in college football? This team right now has captured momentum. It's on their side. Now can they ride that wave to the end and try to win this game? Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Gives it left side. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Second, second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Fires out to his receiver. Brought down right around the 34. Hill with the tackle at the 34 yard line. First down. They'll give it off here. Runs outside for a nice game. That's a good one. That makes it second and six. From the 30-yard line, second down. Quick throw to the tight end. And down he goes at the 23. Gain of seven yards. First down. That's a great tackle at the five. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the five, and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. Hands it off. They'll drop him for a loss. 
Well, I, I think calling the plays, you've got to be aware of this guy. He's making too many plays. And when he's that close to the line of scrimmage, defending the run, not allowing your running back to even get up to the line of scrimmage, you've got to do something to make him pay for that. If he's going to cheat up to the line of scrimmage, if you're calling the plays, listen up. It's a great time to go play action and try to throw the ball right over top of his head. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Here's the eighth play of the series. Just under three to go in regulation. Fires incomplete. This one should be makeable. He gets it up, and it's good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Feeds it to the back. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Knocked out of bounds around the 34-yard line. And he hits him hard at the 38. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. Runs it left for a decent game. That brings him second and five. Hey, Bruin, Bruin! Twist, watch, twist, watch, twist! Just under two to go in the game. He chucks it downfield. And it's going the other way. It's the senior corner. In a close game, the outcome often comes down to one play. Maybe that pick was it, but who knows? We've still got some football to be played. From their own 28-yard line, first down. Once and all, going deep. Got it to the senior. He's taken down at the 11-yard line. And the big pickup through the airs made it first and ten. He makes it out to maybe the 10 yard line. Fights forward to about the 10. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. So it's coming down to the kicking game. This to give them the lead. The kick is up. And the field goal is good. They're lined up to kick, and they might just kick it short and prevent a long return. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game, and poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? There's a the strike complete, and they push him out at the 37-yard line. From their own 37-yard line, first down. One last play, folks. It's time to find out how far he can throw it and see if this game becomes one of the all-time greatest. Here we go. He sails it long. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. This one's in the books, and our final score, 23-20, Beaver. Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup, and boy, was it fun to watch. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.